Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and finally, yes, I'm back with another re another reaction video. Uh, even though I did tell you that this week of the last week of school, I wasn't really going to be too busy, so I would have had chances of making more videos, but unfortunately, the problem was because, well, even though I wasn't really all that busy, because I had so much fun, you know, I was pretty excited throughout the whole week. I actually got wore myself out too many times, and I actually winded up falling asleep pretty early, so I apologize for that. But at least I'm back, and I'm finally still doing reaction videos like I told you in my previous video when I gave a shout-out. Oh, no, 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 not, not shout-outs, but just explaining what I'm going to be doing over the summer. I did say I'll be making more videos, so here you go. Death ba we're continuing my Death Battle series reaction was going to be one of them, and then the, my, my other one was maybe me going to try to work more episode, on more episodes of the My Little Pony Meets the WWE series, and uh, that's just all I got so far. So anyway, we're going to continue where we left off. Uh, next episode... We've got Kirby versus Majin Buu. I don't even know how to say his name, actually. I have to believe this guy's from Dragon Ball. I'm not sure if I'm right or not. I'm thinking he's from Dragon Ball. I don't know. I don't really watch Dragon Ball, but I'm just feeling like I think I've heard people talk about him before. And Kirby, yes, I already know about... I don't really know about Kirby because I don't play the games and everything, but at least I already know Kirby because I've seen him so many times in Smash and... Kirby's apparently a pretty good character to play as in Smash. I mean, I don't really play as him, but I've seen from other guys, though, so whatever. So let's just go ahead and get into this battle, shall we? So let's just see how these people are going to explain about these two characters, and apparently they're both pink is all I could tell. So you probably remember the last time in one of my other episodes, I think it was Ryu vs. Scorpion, I remember they revealed these two in the end, but unfortunately the Deadpool vs. Deathstroke one came first before this death battle, so I reacted to Deadpool vs. Deathstroke first, because apparently that one was released before this death battle did, so then after they did Deathstroke vs. Deadpool, then this one came. So I don't know why they screwed up the reveal ending, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and react to this episode, shall we? So like John Cena and Triple H always say, your time is up, my time is now, it's time to play the game. Let's go ahead and do it, shall we? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's go. <laughs> Still can't ever go wrong with the death battle theme. Imagine right now, what does the apocalyptic destroyer of worlds look like? Stop thinking, because you're wrong. It's these pudgy pink terrors. Kirby, Nintendo's floating puffball of never-ending cheer and dreams. And Majin Buu, the Majin most vicious Buu. monster in the Dragon Ball universe. Yeah, I was right. He is from Dragon Ball. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ooh, it's cartoon animated. Okay. Over a thousand years ago, an epic war waged throughout the universe. The legendary Star Warriors battled against the vile nightmare for the freedom of everything that ever was. Ultimately, good prevailed, but at the cost Meta Knight. of many, many lives. Yet one infant star warrior escaped the carnage, destined to awaken a millennium later and save the galaxy. His name is Kirby. Kirby! Ah! Wait, what? The cute and cuddly pink puffball who lives in Happy Land? Are you sure you're reading the right backstory? Yes, he crash landed on Popstar, the most confusingly shaped planet ever, and has been defending the kingdom of Dreamland ever since. But look at him! He's just so adorable and cuddly. He couldn't hurt a fly. Kirby is a ravenous cannibal who thrives on the blood of mass murder. <laughs> Holy shit! He may not <laughs> like it, but Kirby is a powerhouse. He possesses incredible strength. 200 years per literary? I don't know. His trademark power is his inhaled ability, which sucks almost everything in with a powerful vortex. With it, he can clear out everything from a quick meal to an acre of forest in a matter of seconds. Plus, Kirby's body is malleable, allowing him to stretch his mouth and inhale larger objects. Though he does have trouble wrapping his mouth around extremely large and heavy things. Black Mark Dick! Kirby weighs practically nothing, allowing him to inflate his body and fly like a sentient balloon. Mm. He can also traverse the skies and outer space using his personal vehicle, the Warp Star. Which he can call up at any time on speed dial. No, really, he uses a cell phone. Somebody get me that number. I tried 1-800-PINK-RIDE, but it was something else. The Warp Star is Kirby's primary means of transportation through the universe and can fly at speeds faster than light. It is forged of Kirby's own energy, so while delicate, should it be destroyed, Kirby can easily create a new one on his own, making the cell phone kind of pointless. I'd be happy to take that phone off of his hands, though I'm 
a bit iffy on standing anywhere near that star-driving balloon marshmallow. Look at him! He doesn't even care! He's a monster! It's about to get even worse. Guess what just happened to that poor creature? See, when Kirby swallows a victim, they don't exactly die. Turns out Kirby's stomach is, in fact, an entirely separate and endless dimension of reality. So he never what? feels full. Talk about getting your money's worth at an all-you-can-eat buffet, though. Kirby can trap thousands of victims in this abyss. Then, he can actually enter his own stomach dimension and draw from his captive's power using his copy ability. That is crazy. Does he, like, swallow himself? He likely projects an astral image of himself within the dimension which can act on the physical plane. Anyway, with the what? copy ability, Kirby's form and power change. This is starting to sound ridiculous, but okay. <laughs> I did not know anything about stum the stomach of Kirby. Fire Kirby can unleash a torrent of flame and survive all manner of heat. Ice Kirby freezes foes solid. Wheel Kirby is fast enough to drive around the entire kingdom of Dreamland in under two seconds. Dang! how he can see where he's going. There's Mike Kirby, whose singing talent is apparently so awful, everything that hears it dies. For Kirby singing? I'm okay. What time is it? Damn. Hold on. It's 1221. Just ignore what was going on back there. That was my mom talking, by the way, if you're wondering who that was. My mom eventually always has to come in here and get something, so. Dragon Ball fella. Together and 
is with this guy? He looks like a creep. Dang! That's a strong kick. This guy just looks like a creep if he was real. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you like Dragon Ball, I'm not even gonna add why he was looking at dog. Okay, I'm back, so to talk about what I thought about this, so, clearly it seems like 
uh, whatever that dude's name is again, I really just cannot pronounce his name, but apparently to me, I could just say he's pretty crazy, but pretty powerful and that stuff, depending on just what he's doing and everything, and Kirby, well, for, for a guy who's like 8 inches, I think he said he sure has like, really, is one deadly guy, I guess, and I didn't even know his stomach could even ha have access to another universe and that stuff, that's pretty crazy. So this ought to be an interesting fight, but I'm just going to go with Kirby, so I think Kirby's going to win this, because, well, I mean, it's not only because I know Kirby more, but just, I don't know, I mean, I don't really have any particular reason to why I think, like, K Kirby's just going to win. I mean, mainly I'm just going for him because I know more, like I said, I don't really watch Dragon Ball and that stuff, so yeah. I mean, Kirby just seems, I mean, Kirby's, I don't know, he just seems like he's just got more of the advantage for this battle to me and that stuff, and... If you ask me, when I watched Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, you know, when they saw that trailer, The World of Light, sorry, that's my dog, by the way. If you watched The World of Light, he was the only one that was able to survive that explosion and everything else, so that's kind of what makes Kirby here. So, you know, just freaking powerful and every freaking powerful and everything else, so you know, that's just why I believe so, so I really do believe Kirby's gonna win this, so. So let's see if. If my predictions are right, I mean, I don't know if I am right or not, but that's just what I'm predicting. I'm just predicting and voting for Kirby. So, let's get back to the battle, shall we? And, uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do it. I moved in here, by the way, because my mom was busy in the front room. So, I'm in my room. My real room. Cake? Well, there's... <laughs> Luigi reference from the Super Mario uh, World series. <laughs> this guy's just a weirdo. Maji, Majin Buu, I think that's his name. Majin Buu. Oh, there's Kirby. We'll see about that. Come on, Kirby. And we go for Kirby. <laughs> this dude was gonna try to run away. Yeah, there you go. Now he's got his hammer. Kinda looks like King DD's hammer, actually. Oh, here we go. Last one, Kirby. Take Boo down. Boom. It just got flattened. Oh! Yeah, it takes his power away, of course. Boink! Ha! <laughs> They're all trying to run! Oh, I got the sword guy, whatever it is. Oh, you just cut him in half? Oh, he can put himself back together, huh? <laughs> Who was that that just went right by him? Oh. What the? How is that even possible? But, you know what? Never mind. You know, Kirby, whenever he has that sword thing, he kind of looks like Link because he's got the hat on. <laughs> that face. That was a perfect face expression. Come on, Kirby. Oh, watch out for that blast. This face almost looks like Elmo from Sesame Street. Oh, he's sucking it in. He's absorbing the energy. Oh, he's gonna eat him! Now he's in another universe. Now he's inside Kirby's stomach. What's he gonna do now? Oh, is that ki Kid Boo? What the? I thought they were the same person! Okay, well there goes Real Boo. Apparently Kid Boo's now taking over. I mean, it's the same old boo. I mean, I don't know what... Just, you know what, I don't even have anything to say about that. Forget it. This battle still continues, nothing on this. 
Hold on. Okay, Kirby might lose in this one, maybe. I don't know. I really do want Kirby to win, but I feel like he's going to lose now. <laughs> Kirby just swallows everybody he just sees. It's funny. I don't know what Boo was just doing. It looked like he was dancing of some sort. It's like Karate Kirby, I believe. Yeah, Karate Kirby. Oh! Ouch. What's doing now? Oh, uh, is that a star? What's he doing? Oh, the star rod. Cool, he's got, he's got the star rod. Oh. Oh, he still got it. Tried to take it away from him, still got it. Come on, Kirby. Oh, there's that puff. Got him! That's gotta be it. Oh, he's still alive. What? Oh, no, there goes the star rod. Oh, no. Kirby really, probably Kirby is probably gonna lose. This could be it. Kirby probably is gonna wind up losing after all. What is Boo doing? Is that like a big energy blast that's supposed to kill the opponent? What is that? Is he like invincible? What just happened? Oh, he's gonna swallow it? He's gonna throw it back at him. Oh, it got him alright, but is it enough to kill Boo? Oh, sending him into the sun. There's no way he's going to survive that. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> Kirby's son? Oh, it doesn't matter. That was the sun. Yes. Yes. Oh, Kirby turned into Boo. Yep. Is approximately the same size as the planet Shiver Star, which is actually a post apocalyptic Earth. Hmm. This means Pop Star's gravity and escape velocity must be similar to that of Earth's. Throwing the giant acid monster Copron up to the sun means Kirby at least three and a half times over 25,000 miles per hour. And that's not even counting the giant frying pan or the return trip. And Kirby actually. <laughs> Oh. Really, Boomstick? Whatever. But good job, Kirby. Next time. Next time. I have no idea who that is. I, I, I do not know who that is. Who are these two? I don't even know who those two guys are. Guess I'm gonna have to wait till... I literally have no idea who those two guys were. I really have no idea who they were. Oh, excuse me. Man, I've literally have never seen those two before. I do not know who those two guys are. Well, apparently those two guys are going to be for the next death battle, whoever the heck they are. I guess I'll have to wait till... Sorry, I'm stretching. I guess I'm going to have to wait till next time on the next episode of Death Battle to find out who those two are. So nothing it was, Kirby won this battle. Yay, because I really had a feeling, I really was getting worried thinking he was going to lose, but he still won. So whoever those two guys are, I'll have to find out who they are, and we'll react to that next episode of Death Battle. But this, but that'll be it for today, guys. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike, give it a thumbs down. And, uh, 
So when I'm back with another reaction video, or whenever I'm back with any video, period, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.